Hello and welcome back to another video with me, Lemon, apparently. Um, so today we're going to be looking at how to get unlimited life in GTA 5. In theory you should be able to use this in missions and all sorts of different things. You can use it in the open world as well. I believe this will only work in missions if you're hosting the mission. So you can't just join a random game. Can, can I turn this music off please? Uh, no, wrong button. Um, I can't remember how to do this without a controller. Yeah, I would suggest you don't do this in an open server. I think it will work in an open server, but I'm going to clear the server. So before I open up Cheat Engine, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the Task Manager. I'm going to go to Performance. I'm going to open the Resource Monitor. I'm going to go to Network, which is already open. And then I'm going to right click on GTA 5. Let's suspend that process. Wait for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we resume the process. And ba 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 ba, everyone has left. We are on our own. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up Cheat Engine. Uh, let's make sure Cheat Engine is in the right place so you guys can actually see it. Uh, next, what we're going to do is we're going to target GTA 5. So we're going to here, target GTA 5. We're going to search for a value of exact value. It's going to be a float, so you need to check your value type to float. And we search for 310. For some reason, they made it so that you have 300. Oh, hello. That slowed down for a second. For some reason, they made it so you have 310 health. I don't know why, but that's what it is. So there you go. Uh, so we found all our values for 310. What we're going to do now, because I'm at full health, make sure you're doing this at full health, is I'm going to ram into a... Okay, that didn't actually get, do any damage. I'm going to ram into a wall and hurt myself. Eh, okay, cool. So I got hurt. So now that means that the value is going to be reduced. So we're going to search for a decreased value. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into my inventory and we're going to eat some snacks. Let's have a P's and Q's which means that the value should be increased value next scan cool i think i'm probably back at full health so it's probably 310 but just in case it's not let's go ram us into some dudes over here cool okay so we lose some more health decreased value and extent oh i'm being attacked okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie okie dokie sorry about this you guys are you guys are uh, you guys are being being a distraction. All right, I'm just going to quickly get rid of my wanted level so that this doesn't become a problem. Cool. Okay, dokie. So let's go back to cheat engine. Uh, I'm assuming my value decreased even more since the last scan. Okie doke. So you can start to see which one it is. It's all the stuff that here is 284, basically. So what we're going to do is grab all these grab all these so when when you find one that's got loads of the same value that's going to be the right one so i think i've got all of them if you press this button it copies them down to here i'm going to go Control a and i'm going to change these to 310 again that should put me back at full health and you can see yeah my health bar's full again and then if i go like this um, and i'm going to go press 10 put my oh i died so fun fact 10 health is no health apparently good to know let's try 50 oh wow 50 kills you as well that's very strange anyway um so what we're going to do now is we're going to go and set our health to 310 and we're going to go through quickly and lock all of these in place so now in theory if i uh get into a fight with someone and they like shoot me it won't hurt okay, okay, well done so let's go um, let's go get run over oh look full health so things that would kill you in one hit will still kill you so if I like go and stand on a grenade that's still gonna oh, okay they're still gonna kill me but say I like throw a Molotov cocktail down on the floor. Do I have any? Yeah, I do. So instead of throw a Molotov there, I can just be like, hey, it's a Molotov, let's go stand in it. And it doesn't matter, I'm on fire, but my health is just staying maxed. So that's fun. Um, anyway, so let's see what happens if we aggro the army. Let's just blow some shit up. 
Okay, this is a terrible way of doing it. Uh, So yeah, as you can see, I can just stand here and get shot at and it doesn't matter in the slightest. Uh, unless they can kill me in one hit, in which case they'll kill me in one hit. But anyway, let's go sign into a mission and see if this still stays locked. I would suggest when you're like tabbing into a mission, you probably want to unlock... Um, you probably want to unlock your uh, health because sometimes when you're going through menus and stuff, bad things can happen if you've got... Uh, if you've got your numbers locked. It might work, you might get lucky, but often it doesn't. Uh, so I'm just gonna quickly get rid of my wanted level so I can afford, so I can switch off my air. Oh uh, yeah, I can't remove the wanted level whilst I'm inside. Okay, I'm just gonna let them kill me. So, let's unlock these values. There are probably some in here which are like key values that are the ones that will lock in place. So you probably don't actually need to manually edit all of these. Okay, it's still locked in place, that's fine. Um, so in theory, you probably don't actually need all of these locked. But anyway, uh, let's just let them kill me now. Come on. There we go. Right. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a mission. So we go online. We're going to go to uh, brain. Jobs. Don't know why I struggle with that. Quick job. Uh, play survival. No, let's not go quick job. Actually, let's play a job and actually pick one. So we'll go Rockstar Verified, let's go for a survival. There are no survivals. What? What? Survivals? Oh, there it is. Uh, okay, let's go to this one. Cool. Let's see if we can do this survival with infinite health. Right, um, let's go back and set my max health again. Okie doke. Come at me, fam. You want some? I'll give it ya. So, as you can see, <laughs> if you were so inclined, you could do a survival uh, <laughs> with a baseball bat. No, come on. Get over here then, hurry up. Don't call me a fool. Come back here. Right, so you, you get the point. I, I could now just like go through this mission and it'd be fine. So as I say, this will work in online games with other players if you are, um, if you're the host. If you're not the host, it won't work. Um, but the problem is if people, it, it's usually quite obvious if someone is using a cheat like this. If you use this in a game with other people, they almost certainly will report you for it and then you could get banned. So I would, Highly recommend not using this with other players. Um, though, you know, it's up to you. But disclaimer, if you do it, you'll probably get banned. And now just to prove that this won't protect you from death. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try here. Yeah, so you can still die. So don't blow yourself up, basically. And then you'll be fine. Beautiful. So what I'm going to oh actually wait what I'm going to quickly do now is go through and test uh, the key values on these to see if there is uh, let's go back to free mode uh, to see if there is one or two that are the important ones uh, so let's just untick all of these so what I'm going to be looking for is one value that when I change it it changes all of the other ones. Cool. 
because that will be the, the key one that everyone, all the other numbers are deriving from, which is usually how it works. So we'll just wait for this to load up and then we'll have a look. So I'll just quickly demonstrate that this does work with other players in the game. Um, so let's just go through. I need to actually fight, figure out which one of these is a key value. So 250, that doesn't change it. 250, doesn't change it. 250, doesn't change it. 250. So you just go through like this until one of them actually sets all of the other ones to whatever the number is you're choosing. Um, there is probably a more smart way of doing this. Um, I think I know how to, but it's. I'd rather just do it this way rather than trying to be smart about it. And then okie dokie. Maybe there's multiple key values, so there's not one value that... Ah, oh, there we go, it was the bottom one. Of course it was. <laughs> there you go. So now I, what I can actually do is I can just be like, well, the rest of these values don't matter, because the only value that matters is this one, so I can set this to 310, um, and I'm good. And then if I set it back to, like, 200, then whoop, I'm at mid-health, and so on. So, yeah, um, that's good to know. So now if I want to freeze it, all I have to do is freeze this value rather than freezing all of them. But as you can see, I've got other people in the game. You can see down in the bottom left, there's people dying and this is still working. Um, so yeah. So just before I go, I just wanted to say like, appreciate people who have subscribed and pay attention to my channel. I do try and put out content. Um, I know it's not very frequent, but the thing is, I don't like uploading things unless I think they're useful and interesting and like new. I don't like just uploading the same content over and over again. Um, and I know I've also been spending quite a lot of time uploading music, uh, which is something I'm quite fun. Yeah, I'm quite excited about. Um, and I've had a lot of people actually comment on the music videos saying, oh, can you upload more GTA cheats? Um, it was always something in the back of my mind. It is always something I want to do more of. Um, it's just... Like I say, I want to make sure the content is worthwhile. If I don't have things that are useful and worthwhile or interesting, then I'm not going to upload. I'm not just going to recycle the same old rubbish. So, um, yeah. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. If you did. Well, if you're hearing this, then you did. So, yeah. Uh, see you later. <laughs>